40s and even some 50s. There will be a strong moisture transport out of the Gulf of Mexico so locally heavy rainfall is possible, along with a few thunderstorms. This will be especially true Sunday night into Monday as a strong cold front sweeps across the area. Temperatures and dew points currently in the grids may not be high enough ahead of the front for later shifts to consider. Backing up a bit, as the deeper moisture begins to arrive Saturday night slash Sunday morning there may be a period of freezing rain in our northern counties, depending on any remaining snow cover and temperatures at the time. Not confident on the scenario just yet but something to monitor. The other potential is dense fog as this moisture flows across any lingering snow cover and or cold ground. Suffice to say this being the Christmas weekend there is the potential for significant to travel problems due to a variety of weather conditions. Too early for specific details and timing so stay tuned to later forecasts. This scenario is eerily similar to the December 26, 2008 event that impacted much of the Midwest and in that case there was also severe weather including the DVNCWA. In this upcoming event the models do indicate HSLC, high fear, low cape, potential. Life Academy in Hopedale is closed, but daycare will open at 7 a.m. Fieldcrest 6 is closed. There will be no evening activities. Teachers Unlimited is open. Greenview School District 200 is closed due to the current road conditions. Ice on the roads there. Parksburg Emden 21 is closed. Havana remains closed. Valley 3 closed today. All evening activities are on as scheduled for Tuesday, December 20th. As of December 20th at 7.14 a.m. Central Standard Time, here's a look at watches, warnings, and advisories affecting the state of Illinois as well as the portions of surrounding counties. A flood advisory is in effect for the Rock River at Rockton, Illinois, affecting Winnebago County. Remember that ice dams can result in rapid fluctuations in water levels with little or no advanced warning. Further levels may fluctuate rapidly due to ice with no, little or no warning. Residents in low lying flood prone areas should remain alert for possible flooding due to ice dams. This can be very localized and not affect all locations along the river as a typical river flood.
5 p.m. Commander Gulf and Rapid fluctuations in water levels. Again, this will order no warning. As of 7.45 p.m. last night, the base was 6.8 feet. The flood base is 9.0 feet. This river is expected to fluctuate near the flood base this week. 5 p.m. Commander Gulf and Rapid rises in water levels with little or no warning. 5 p.m. flooding can be very localized and not affect all locations along the river. Remember, residents in low-lying flood-prone areas should remain alert for possible flooding at 5 p.m. Now let's look at some weather stations affected for our portions of our area. A special weather station has been issued for portions of southern Illinois. We'll briefly look at that. There may be some freaking fog possible in portions of uh, near river and lakes in southern Illinois and portions of western Kentucky, southeast Missouri, and southwestern Indiana. Very localized freaking fog has developed early this morning, specifically in locations near bodies of water where fog has formed. It may be dense enough to form a thin layer of ice on surfaces such as bridges, overpasses, roadways, and sidewalks due to freezing temperatures. The localized dense nature of the fog may also pose a hazard to drivers due to southern sudden changes in visibility. Again, make sure you slow down and give yourself a few extra minutes to reach your destination. From uh, Louisville, Kentucky, may be a few icy spots in the morning. Patchy light fog combined with temperatures in the teens has resulted in some slick and icy spots on area roadways. Specifically, please uh, those elevated roads, bridges, and overpasses. Make sure you use extreme caution this morning and allow extra time to reach your destination. And uh, now let's look at Tennessee. Great fog possible across Middle Tennessee. About uh, let's say 9 a.m. Air temperatures below freezing, moisture from passing low clouds and locations near bodies of water will all play a role in this continued development of patchy freezing fog formation. Locally dense this morning across portions of mid Tennessee and also portions of West Tennessee as well. Moisture density could produce very thin white ice accumulation on surface, especially in the more elevated terrain of the mid-state. Roadways could have slick spots, especially bridges and overpasses. Sidewalks could become slippery, posing a hazard to pedestrians, including children walking to bus stops. If convenient, please reduce speed as appropriate. Use low beam headlights and allow more time to reach your destination in these areas. If walking, please proceed slowly and carefully. Conditions should improve later this morning above freezing and moisture dissipation across the mid-state. You are listening to Stormwatch Scientific, providing public forecast discussion, alerts, and other related information. This feat has been made possible as a collaborative efforts between the National Weather Service, the Stormwatch Communications Center, MWX Weatherman Extension, the Federal Aviation Administration, and the Illinois State Patrol. A low pressure trough moving eastward through the upper Midwest will intensify southern. Hey guys, it's BC Havana here. I am the one who is screen recording this. My school is closed because of ice. Band concerts have been closed, have been, uh, not closed, canceled. Um, as you heard the, um, broadcaster say, you need to be careful while, while you're driving or if you're walking. <laughs>